Rated M for Mature. So when the player enters the world of Assassin's Creed, the first thing uh, he discovers is that there's all these very complex interactions going on between these different types of characters that are populating the world. And the artificial intelligence system basically is a set up so that these different roles and these different characters all interact together in a very complex fashion. And very quickly those interactions can turn against the player or support the player's gameplay objectives. In most games with a large number of characters, they tend to have a very limited set of behaviors, so basically uh, ranks of zombies. In Assassin's Creed, we've taken a completely different approach. We've tried to leverage the technology and the capacities of next generation consoles to give much more rich and much more advanced artificial intelligence to each individual of these literally hundreds, these hordes of, of characters that exist in the cities. We managed to create the living and breeding uh, feeling of Assassin's Creed by by basically studying a crowd. The idea came from going to sports events and trying to get from the, <laughs> from the beer place back to our seats and then trying to navigate uh, between all those people. Running or pushing or bumping into someone will have very direct consequences. So if you push the wrong person or you bother the wrong person, that person could do anything from yelling at you, uh, you know, insulting you in the middle of the street, which could attract attention. They could run off and go get guards. Essentially, it'll draw attention to yourself. All of the, the different specific types of characters all have the very specific types of things that they respond to. It was really important for us that we not only have only crowd for visual, but that you could play with it. So we have people that are basically obstacles. Once you walk, everything's fine, but if you go into the really crowded area, then you use some gentle push to put people aside, and then you can continue with the same speed. So when you run and you bump into someone, then you, you'll lose balance, so uh, the crowd is really a gameplay element. So we decided to create some specific behavior to some people. So we have some harassers or beggars, people who will come to you and say, I need money, I need food, and that will ask you to use some of your ability uh, because it will stop you. So basically it's just like booby traps, but made out of people. The player's main tool is what we call social stealth. And instead of literally hiding physically in the game in order to infiltrate, you're actually hiding socially, which means that you're trying to uh, blend in and integrate with the people around you. So as long as you're socially accepted by the crowd, everything will go well. But as soon as you start to do something that is uh, special, for example, climbing, uh, people will start to uh, react to you. They will spot you say, what is he doing? Normal people won't try to, to kill you or, or chase you. But we have guards also, we have soldiers inside our, our game world, and those soldiers are basically the one who will try to get you if, if they spot you doing something special. So literally what the technology does in Assassin's Creed is every time it needs to create a character, whether that character is going to be manning a merchant stand or walking around or manning a guard post, is we randomly choose a face, a hat, clothing, body type, all these things, and then we glue all the animations onto it, and then we adjust them procedurally in real time to make them look realistic. So essentially, we're completely creating individuals on the fly of a very large set of parameters. So what you wind up having is you really think that we've actually created and modeled and textured these hundreds or thousands of characters, when in fact what we're actually doing is we've created a piece of technology that allows us to create these characters through a sort of people factory.